Well, good morning everyone. Welcome. Welcome to all of you. Welcome to this uh, 2023 edition of Desert in Fest. For those that didn't come to the open assembly yesterday, today we have persones de les administracions i organitzacions públiques que donen suport al, al projecte de CIDIM. Eh, tenim, tindrem amb nosaltres el, el Jaume López, eh, director general de participació i bon govern, l'Andreu Francisco, que és el director general de Local Red, i l'Arnau Monterde, que és el director d'Innovació Democràtica de l'Ajuntament de Barcelona. Eh, I res, eh, amb això comencem i benvinguts. I faig un pas al, al Jaume, que serà el primer a parlar. Moltes gràcies. Bé, bon dia. Bon dia a tothom. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to speak in Catalan. Thank you so much for this kind invitation. What a pleasure to be with you in this occasion together and also with this zero role with the local red manager and the responsible for innovation from Barcelona. And we do have only five minutes and I'd like to be clear. And the first message that I want to convey and um, to tell you, it is the support that we are giving uh, the Catalan government in this country to make this a project real. The support that we are giving you, it's total and it's already completed with an agreement and a convention that we had together with the municipality of Barcelona and the Open Source Association Decidim and this uh, entails an economic support that for sure could be always uh, I'm sure that you in the assembly talk about how to get more funds and it was possible through the support of the regional governments from Tarragona and Lleida in order to make this a platform broader uh, municipalities of these two provinces uh, through the open uh, Catalan uh, Consortium. Its message it is that the Catalan government is uh, giving support as it should uh, the form. Uh, we can uh, justify uh, this action from many perspectives, but from the general directorate that I, I do represent, it is always very difficult to find such a crystal clear example of uh, best uh, practices of these uh, principles of open government, which are these uh, two fields where this uh, very, very long name general directorate is working for. In a nutshell, we are talking about a platform that empowers citizens from the perspective of a participation. It is a platform that put into practice uh, this uh, cooperation amongst the third sector, the public sector, so this open government, this uh, public collaboration together with society, and also the, we are talking about a project that it's uh, very well committed with this open transparency and through the values and a public uh, commitment through social contract that tell us what are the main values that will set the project and to make this project work. When we talk about good government, we are including for sure uh, public administration. The needless to say that the quality of this uh, project and product that goes beyond Catalonia and in some specific countries such as in Brazil, uh, it's getting bigger and bigger because we reach a great level of quality and good government is aiming at improving the quality of the administration. So, this merger amongst the principles uh, represented by this general directorate and also the project and the reality of the city in project, it's huge. So it's always easy to say that the support of the Catalan government and generally that will be always on your side. In order to conclude, just let me give you some uh, food for thought. Maybe this idea should have more to do with my role as a politician and also has to do with this uh, Desitim Festival. This year's Desitim Festival, if I'm not mistaken, the words are democracy, technology and collective intelligence. I think that we should 
put together all these three concepts in a single sentence, and to me it really makes sense, total sense. Democracy, it is a social technology to develop uh, collective intelligence. Why I do want to underscore this idea? Because when we talk about technology, and this maybe, maybe is something I'm sharing to you mainly from this uh, political perspective, I think that we must bear in mind that technology has two sides, the material technology such as uh, cell phones and computers, but also social technology values, the rule of all the uh, strategies to reach this collective intelligence. These are two sides, the material technology and also social technology must be hand in hand because in the end this is a double entry relationship. Sometimes the hardware and material technology helps us to change social technology, how we uh, get related amongst us, and sometimes this uh, social technology boosts this material technology. I do think that this idea inside this framework we can have another element that is to underscore. How to acknowledge this as a digital good for this uh, international uh, alliance for uh, digital audiences and the public. In the CDIM, we are able to connect these two levels of technology, this uh, democratic technology, a technology that has a clear uh, material example, but uh, needless to say that this is digital and this is a public good and it has a lot to do with the social technology. I told you that I had to make an announcement. I need to speed up, but you know, in uh, Catalonia, we do have our own projects to develop these uh, principles, and amongst them, I'd like to underline one of these uh, projects that really contributes to develop this collective intelligence and this uh, transformation of social intelligence. I'm talking about the Citizen Climate Assembly in, of Catalonia, well, it is the first citizen assembly with uh, citizens that were selected through uh, draw, and we are uh, getting some invitations from the president of the Catalan government uh, to talk about something uh, that is really uh, important today, such as the climate change and the climate emergency. So having this assembly for it is something for software and also it is something that really needs to tell us. We must guarantee the inclusivity for this bias in participation made by those that want to say something, well, they disappear because you get an invitation in the end to participate in this assembly, and also you get rid of uh, these extremes that we uh, see when, they ha when we have these kind of discussions amongst uh, political parties. Therefore, I think that social innovation and this uh, social and citizen assembly dealing with the climate issues will be a great mirror for this uh, quality to be real. And this is something that I'd like to see in our parliaments. Therefore, uh, we must uh, fast forward towards this uh, value for deliberation. Well, that's all from my side. And I'm uh, just uh, wishing you a great uh, Congress uh, with loads of great results for you and for democracy. Thank you very much. Bon dia a tothom. Um... Thank you very, very much. Thank you for inviting us to this opening session. I'm Andreu Francisco. I'm the general director of Local Red. Many of you will wonder what the heck is Local Red? What are these guys doing here? Well, heck is not a, an adequate word. I'm sorry, but uh, well, maybe. I'm sorry for the words and for, excuse me, my French, but Local Red is a public uh, consortium gathering more than 900 uh, municipalities in Catalonia, half of the county councils, the four provincial governments, and our main goal, it is to accompany municipalities 
municipalities in this transformation process for towns, villages, in order for them to be a digital municipality. This is what we do for more than 26 years. Local Red is here because for many, many years we understood that citizen participation had to be boosted and fostered from municipalities. It was 2000 to 2003, if I'm not mistaken, we started up with a consensus platform that was available for municipalities. And I'm sure that you know that there are some troubles that are ready maybe before they are needed, but in the end, well, beyond this uh, proposal, and for the last of five years, we were committed to make this project to be real, and uh, a member of our team, Carol Romero, I'm sure that you will know her, and well, she is our contribution, our talent contribution to the project, high quality talent contribution, if you allow me, needless to say, well, maybe I'm telling you, maybe now she is blushing, uh, but in any case, it's our contribution, and uh, we agreed uh, uh, commitment, and we renew this commitment. The period of four years aiming at promoting the citizen participation through this tool that we call the CDIM, which is a great tool to promote citizen participation. In our institution, let's say in local red, we believe in participation. Just uh, some ideas about here we work, we approve the digital agenda for uh, municipalities in Catalonia, we have a mid-term and long-term vision aiming at progressing in uh, all the cities and towns for this uh, and local administration transformation, not only digital, but also locally speaking, we made a call for those people working in uh, municipalities, such as civil servants, also the politicians and the elected staff, to create this agenda. And we love to say that this agenda has been created from municipalities for municipalities. In the end, the ones that know how municipalities work and where municipalities are aiming to, there were more than 43 people working from different municipalities and city councils in Catalonia with a great level of representation of citizens. We made possible uh, to implement a proposal with uh, 21 uh, goals and objectives and 101 action strategies to foster this vision that, as the agenda says and shows, it can only be in a shared uh, way and it is the equivalent and it can be compared with this uh, project, the sitting project. So it's very similar. It is a project that stems from Barcelona, was born in Barcelona, and it is shared by many people all over the world. Well, I could talk about many other things, but I think that I, the time is over. In any case, I think that you already have on the table, you all have the challenge that we must work. Now we have this culture of a citizen participation, and right now we do have a broader implication of citizens, therefore uh, we will be able to get more results and the level of representativity is going to be bigger and the power of citizens and the commitment of citizens is going to be more important than ever. And this participation, as you know, it's a very difficult to get, and you are all experiencing this participation. And uh, in, uh, when I was a mayor, it was very difficult and difficult, but in the end, you always saw the same people. So 
This is the challenge, and the Sidim first speaks about this collective intelligence, and in the end, this is a challenge that we must bear in mind, and let's see if we are able to uh, see and also to know what's law and also uh, what are the rights and also what do we have and the villages and uh, all the cities will be committed. Thank you. All right. Welcome to you all. It is a great pleasure to be with you today. First of all, uh, I'd like to excuse uh, the uh, vice mayor, uh, Ms. Guy. Uh, she won't be with us. I'm Arnaud Monterdi, the innovation director, uh, democratic innovation uh, director. Uh, we got involved in this uh, platform. Just uh, let me thank you. Thank you all for being with us today. I know that many of you coming uh, from abroad uh, you are aware that this is a great event and uh, it's getting more uh, prestigious and it's a great moment to be together and also how to be together and to carry on building uh, all together this community that we uh, really love. I'd like to thank in a very special manner all the members of the provincial government of Barcelona that were with us uh, for many years. Also the role that they play in Decidim, the role of municipalities uh, is always vital. And uh, here inside Decidim Fest, uh, well, we do have together with the Catalan government and local red, you know that we made huge efforts to be together in this institutional network and all together we are trying to make this possible thanks to the support of all the community and citizenship. Well, I think that it's a great example of a good understanding amongst different governments to promote this public project that has this public and community the decision uh, taken. We talk about open code, we talk about the licenses. Therefore, we believe that it's not only a model, it's a great prototype that will help us to create new public policies and uh, different institutions uh, will uh, reach different agreements, will be able to work together in order to share a common strategy, to bid hand in hand, to make a, an effort to work together for citizens. Well, Barcelona was uh, uh, knowledge to be uh, something that we began the last of 14 September. It is the acknowledgement of the democracy capital of Europe. It is a recognition that has to do with the trajectory of Barcelona and also thanks to the Decidim project and all the political uh, in the last years. So in the end, we are able to create new activities, we are able to create new strategies related with uh, democracy, rights, culture, education, etc. The city uh, will be the center for several events that began uh, last uh, September until uh, next October. We will have loads of activities and you uh, can have a look to uh, the website capitalofdemocracy.vcn, capitalofdemocracy.vcn. And the third idea that I'd like to convey before uh, opening my presentation, I was also one of the speakers. I had to make the opening, but also I'm one of the speakers. This is something that we said yesterday all together. But I'd like to claim this uh, density model as a model for technology development to have a political uh, uh, strategy that will boost democracy. We decided to walk field. It was very complicated and tricky to start everything, 
and to understand that the administration body would be able to understand that open had to be the code had to be open that the ownership of the code uh, has to be free so the legal services in the city council uh, had some problems to understand what the does this mean why do we have to share why licenses were opened a tricky moment for public administration and uh, we had a very long trajectory and this allow us to open some leaks to make water running out from the public administration and to and Theories, all the other stakeholders for people to understand what are the main actors for digital rights, what are open licenses mean, and also to make possible these technologies to be available for people. We don't know about the challenges that we have in front of us when dealing with digital matters and digital technologies nowadays. We are aware about the general trends that the main technological developments are making possible. We'll have time to discuss about it. Also the risks that we have in our democracies, but we all know that there are some ways and paths that we are making possible that will offer us some final results results that will be totally unexpected when we begin with this project. So we are opening these new uh, paths to create new public technologies, community technologies, uh, together with people, for the people aiming at having a new perspective, not aiming to sell the products, but it's not a commercial a purpose, but in the end, the main purpose, it is to improve democracy, to build a common good, and to build a collective processes for a common understanding, for a global debate, and to improve society in the end. Well, Decidim, it is a flagship project opening these new spaces to push new projects that will move on forward. And to understand how this collaboration with the public stakeholders that will be the warrants of these uh, public spaces, that will be the warrant for these uh, rights and these non-commercial and non-marketing uh, purposes that will allow us to have more equality and to strengthen democracy. We have a lot to do, but now we officially open this uh, Decidim Fest. Thank you so much.